Hello and welcome, everybody. Hi. We've, uh, we've just been told that actually the meeting can start now. So that's great. So I'm Maya Bugge. I come from Norway and I play the cello. Uh, I'm Sarah Nichols. I'm a pianist and I'm also the inventor of the Inside Out Piano, which is this beautiful thing you can see behind us. This week, specifically, we're making a show which is also about the climate. We started off thinking about the project and, and Sarah just said to me, well, the thing is I'm a, I've become a musical activist and I really want to explore how I can use music to convey the climate change message. And that's sort of what I can do. I'm not going to fly anymore. If we, need, if we want to perform anywhere, we'll need to do it by train. I was just like, right, OK. <laughs> this, is, this sets a parameter for what we're doing, right? I, I think it's like two streams, isn't it, really? One is uh, the framing. So how are we going to talk about this issue? to the audience, how are we going to involve them? And then the second stream is making music together. And even just before you came in, we were, we were discovering the big importance of giving space and time to just being musical, mm. weren't we? And yeah. making sure that we explore that for its own sake, mm. as much as within the context of the topic. As soon as we've played the first piece, I was like, oh, I've just been trying to play the cello on the piano. Because on the piano I do, like, it's designed like this so I can play on the strings. That's exactly why I built it. And, you know, I do loads of stuff like harmonics, pizzicato, like ricochet type things with balls, which is just like spiccato. And it's just really amazing. So we played the first piece and it was like, oh, don't they sound good together? And we kept doing, like, things where it was so similar sounding and, and at one point like during the recording we listened back and we were like who's, who's doing what who's doing? Yeah. and what so that was like a really lovely mm. discovery in one of the interviews that i did uh, in preparation for this residency i talked to uh, an old activist who just said the first thing we did was call a public meeting and in our rehearsal, once he had said that, we were just like, well, that's what we'll do. We'll frame it as a meeting. So we are just getting the audience in and they're in a meeting. It's a public meeting and there's an agenda. And, and it's urgent because we're discussing climate change. The inspiration, I guess, is, is like to want a functional future where millions of people don't starve or have to migrate in violent ways so that you know everything breaks down I mean like it's a real and serious threat and so the inspiration is like actually to activate more people to think about it have come here across like a lifetime essentially or hopefully half a lifetime right <laughs> um, actually it is really interesting to track what I've done and what I was doing at each stage like being a child in a youth orchestra and um, being uh, at a conservatoire and coming as a like student and then getting more and more into new music but doing lots of composing work coming with peers you know composers who were the same age as me, lots of that, and then gradually moving into technology, media, electronics, and then sort of becoming a teacher, teaching other young children who were sort of the age when I first came, 
and now really totally following like a, a unique like a, an artistic path that feels authentic you know to me and to you mm. so I think that that's quite a nice mm. trajectory to be able to kind of look back on. It's a brilliant place and it has uh, just got that uh, fantastic opportunity of being in nature as well, which is when you work as sort of intensely as we do, it's, it's hard to get out of the rehearsal room. That is such a powerful thing for institutions to remember and to hold on to, that even when people are quite established, that actually the opportunity to take risk is so important. And the opportunity to take risk in a collaboration is actually impossible in any other situation. Like if we had to go to each other's houses to do the same thing, there'd just be massive interruption and it wouldn't be this kind of cocoon so that's massively valuable.